So you are painting and you have a lot of masking to do and you've never used one of these. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how to use it, how to mask off your windows and other surfaces. So stick around. All right guys, this is the 3M M3000 hand masker. And I think this is a must have tool for your paint projects and your paint kit. Um, it's designed to make masking a breeze and it can be used with either a nine inch or a 12 inch film and paper blade, which we have right here. You just pop it in place and you set it based on the size of your tape we have one and a half inch tape here and we started by pulling the tape out and installing it on this black wheel here and then we install the plastic film and we run the tape along the route that is pointed here on the masking gun there's a little arrow that tells you which way make sure that you go underneath this little yellow arm and then you attach it to your film and go underneath the black little arm that lifts up and then you rip off the paper of the film after so that you don't have to struggle with it moving make sure this is all the way bumped up in here grab it here got your hook here that hooks into your pocket you can hook into your back pocket to your belt if you have a belt tool belt that's what that's for um, and then your blade of course be careful it has this little cover um, a lot of times we'll take this cover off just because it's kind of annoying but you should probably keep it on if you're if you're new to taping um, and masking and then we stop from we stop we start from the top and work our way down so here we're just gonna put one piece over the top Guys, if you find this video helpful and or you want to see more, please hit that like and that subscribe down below. It just helps the channel grow. This plastic can be a little bit hard to deal with. It'll move around on you and you'll have to reset. Usually when it's a new roll, sometimes it'll move around a lot. If you're a full-time professional painter, you got some tips on this let me know in the comments down below guys and if you just like the video hit that like um, so sometimes you'll have to adjust this to keep it running smoothly so this comes in different lengths once you have it laid out you smooth out the uh, tape also, before you start, make sure that the surface is clean and dry so the tape will actually stick. Then, you can go under here, and this has different layers, and all you do is pull it out. This masking gun, guys, I think it's lightweight, easy to handle, it's perfect for beginners, but also used by pros. Uh, it comes with the ladder hook. So I picked this up for around $55 and the blade is separate, which was like another $28. So definitely not the cheapest, but worth it if you do plan on painting and you need a mask off right, a lot. So I've got my plastic laid out. You need another roll of tape. I mean, technically you could use the same one on there, but it's a pain to take it off and put it back on. So I always keep another um, roll of tape and we are going to just tape off all the edges and finish taping this down so it doesn't move and get the rest of this all taped off so that we can paint the trim and everything else in here. Next, we are taping off the window here. So there's different ways you can do the windows. Um, you can do paper around the edges and then just put plastic in the center. But I just like to do plastic all the way around. So I just take one piece across the top. That's gonna be long enough to reach all the way to the bottom of my window. And then I just tape the edges um, and mask off any of the window metal edges. I like to do it this way because that way I don't block out a bunch of light and we still have light coming through the clear plastic versus if I did paper, it gets a little bit darker in the room. All right guys, so we're gonna switch it over to paper because I'm done with all the plastic that I'm gonna need. So what I do is I cut right here leave the tape on there pull it back here and pull my tape out and 
and I'll use that same little extra piece to hold my plastic together till the next time that I need it. Right, that stuff's expensive. You load it onto the masking gun. You already have the tape on there, so you're just going to adjust it, pull it out a little, make sure that it's on there right. This is the most important part if you want the masking gun to run smoothly, is making sure that it's set correctly when you first start. And then to pull it, you slide it under the little black thing right here, and we're ready to go. And that's how you cut it. And honestly, the paper's a lot easier. The plastic is a little bit harder. But yeah, this is ready to go. And now we're just gonna mask the edges of the floor paper here that we're gonna spray. All right guys, and that's how you use the 3M masking gun. This is my favorite masking gun on the market. Um, it's the one we use for everything. It's a little bit pricey compared to the other models that they have like at Lowe's or wherever. They have smaller ones that are kind of janky. Um, these are like 60 bucks plus the blade. It's like another 20 bucks. But definitely worth it guys. This is a professional tool. This is what all the pro painters use. So. Thanks for checking out the video guys. I hope it helps with your masking and your paint projects. And if you like it, please hit that like down below. Hit that subscribe. It just helps the channel grow, helps the videos get out there. And I really appreciate you guys. So thank you.